is Terrence Bud Crawford. Duck and Sebastian Fundora, man, is all of us boxing heads have heard. Errol Spence and Fundora is a done deal sometime in 2025, bro, coming up next year. And a lot of people have mixed feelings and mixed emotions about this. And we're going to talk about it in this video. But first and foremost, salute all my real ones, bro. Everybody that's been rocking with me and rocking with this channel, bro. And uh, it was breaking news yesterday, man, that it's a done deal that Fundora will be fighting Errol Spence. And we all know that it was a mandatory for Terrence Bud Crawford and Fondora to mix it up, bro. And a lot of people are starting to say if Terrence Crawford is ducking Fondora. First and foremost, bro, I don't think Terrence Crawford really is ducking anybody, man. I just think Terrence Crawford is looking for a 401k plan, a retirement check to sell off into the sunset, bro. Now, I don't know if that Canelo fight is going to happen for him or not, but I believe at this moment in time, Terrence Crawford is playing chess, but at the same time, returning the favor to Errol Spence, because let's not get this twisted, bro. Errol Spence really gave Terrence Crawford the opportunity to fight him, which was the most anticipated fight a lot of people were saying since Mayweather and Pacquiao got into the ring, bro. And we saw a lopsided beating, you know, that Terrence Crawford gave to Errol Spence. Now, the moment that I saw Errol Spence step into that ring when Fandora beat Tim Zhu, I already knew at that point in time, I'm like, man, I believe that this fight is going to happen because I already knew that, you know, from that time, there was chit chat that Terrence Crawford is trying to get that jackpot and that lottery, uh, you know, that lottery money. Now, <clears throat> Terrence Crawford playing chess, bro, and returning a favor. He's playing chess, you know, returning that favor for Errol Spence to get a big fight. As we all know, Errol Spence has been out of the ring for a long time and a lot of people been trashing him. And it honestly, bro, it's quite disgusting to me, bro, because this man, you know, has been into the ring with a uh, Ugas. This man has been into the ring with a Danny Garcia. This man has been into the ring with a with a uh, Sean Porter, bro. He's been into the ring with some great, great fighters. And he was on top of the world at one point, bro, with Derek James. And a lot of people, you know, were picking Errol Spence to beat Crawford. Hell, I thought Errol Spence had a chance to beat Crawford, bro. I did not think that it was going to be that lopsided of a beating, man. And shout out to Crawford for getting the job done and proving us all wrong. But Terrence Crawford playing chess, now he's returning the favor like, hey, yo, I'm going to step aside. I'm not going to fight Fandora, Spence. I'm going to give you the opportunity like you gave me the opportunity. And just in case I don't get this Canelo fight, I'm banking on you, bro. And I'm hoping and I'm praying that you could look phenomenal in that fight, beat Fandora so I could get a huge, huge payday from it, bro, and we could fight at 154 pounds because a lot of the excuses that a lot of people were coming up with is Errol Spence, you know, besides looking high and looking out of it and besides the car accident and all that stuff, bro, a lot of people were saying Errol Spence is just way too big for 147 pounds. Errol Spence and Bud should have really fought at 154 pounds. So with that being said, man, I don't think Terrence Crawford is ducking anybody, bro. You know, I'm not a huge fan of the Canelo Alvarez and Crawford fight, bro, but I'm not going to trash Crawford like that to that level, bro. I don't think Terrence Crawford is a duck. I just think he's looking for that jackpot ticket, bro. And at this point in time, I believe he's playing chess and banking on Errol Spence, bro, returning the favor to Errol Spence, but hoping that Errol Spence gets the job done. And he could cash out in that rematch, bro. I know a lot of people are saying, oh, uh, you know, Bud, even after the Majima fight, you know, even Bomax said, you know, they're not even worried about the, you, you know, Errol Spence fight. They came out and said that he's finished and whatnot. Trust me, bro. Trust me. It don't really matter because money talks and the BS walks, bro. You know what I'm saying? If Errol Spence steps in there against Fandora, beats him, looks good doing it, I promise you, man, I promise you. Terrence Crawford will definitely take that rematch against Errol Spence to shut up all the non-believers for good at 154 pounds when it comes to him and Spence. Because let's not get it twisted, man. A lot of people were rocking with Spence in that fight. And a lot of people did have excuses why Spence took that lopsided beating in that fight. And Terrence Crawford to cash out and bank off of a rematch, depending on how Spence looks against Fandora, you know he's going to do that in a heartbeat, bro. Because if he doesn't get that fight against Canelo Alvarez, I mean, what's his next play? You know, a fight against Tim Zhu is probably not going to get him paid how much that rematch would. A fight against Virgil Ortiz probably won't get paid, you know, as much as that rematch would. 
uh, against Errol Spence. And we all know, like I said, he's trying to cash out. So I think Terrence Crawford is going to sit tight. Hell, he might not even fight or he might take some tune-up, you know, type of fight. You know, like I said, hoping and praying and banking on Spence to win that fight so he could get another big, big payday. Because Errol Spence was his biggest payday up to date, bro. But to call Terrence Crawford a duck, bro, we're not going to do that over here, man. I think pound for pound, this dude's one of the best. Yeah, he has all the accolades, but his resume is not up to par, bro. But we all keep forgetting that this man was trying to get into the ring with a lot of these dudes and they weren't giving them the opportunity, whether it was because of promoters or boxing, boxing politics, that's a whole nother thing. But he was trying to get into the ring with a lot of these dudes, bro. Even back, back in the days against Keith Thurman, man, he stayed calling out Keith Thurman. Let's not forget this, bro. Let's not forget this, but he just missed out on the opportunities. But now I feel like, bud, you know, don't do the same thing to these younger dudes, you know, that want to fight with you. But again, that's another topic. But to say bud is afraid of anyone or ducking anyone, bro, I'm not going to say that, bro. We make videos, you know, hoping and pushing for fights. We might sometimes say crazy stuff because it's boxing fans and it's, you know, people that, um, I guess, report on boxing, bro. We just want to see the best fights, bro. You, you know what I mean? So we might push a certain fight, man. But I truly don't think that Terrence Crawford is ducking anybody, bro. I believe he's playing chess, banking on Spence, and at the same time, returning the favor to Errol Spence, bro. So what you guys think about this is always, bro, hit that like button. Helps with the algorithm. Sub if you're not sub. Drop some comments, bro. Peace and blessings to all my real ones. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. We out of here.